Welcome to all the lovely ladies tuning in. Today we've got a special treat for you. We're diving deep into a treasure trove of insights as we unveil the ultimate guide. 20 stellar tips for confidently and effectively engaging in conversations with guys. So strap yourselves in as we embark on this exciting journey. As a playful reminder, these tips are shared with the spirit of fostering genuine connections and enhancing your conversation skills, not to be used as tools for manipulation or deceit. So tread lightly and remember, communication is about sincerity, not a strategy. Let's kick things off with tip number one, the golden rule of communication. Be yourself. This isn't just about embracing your hobbies or interests, but truly recognizing the quirks, passions, and unique traits that constitute your identity. Imagine you're both movie buffs, but have a unique love for old silent films that others may not appreciate. Let your passion shine. Discuss your favorite film, director, or era. Authenticity leads to genuine interactions, where you're not trying to fit into a mold or mirror someone else's personality, but shining as your own unique self. So always remember, in the orchestra of life, you are a soloist with a melody all your own. Don't be afraid to let your authentic self take center stage. Shifting gears, we arrive at tip two. Don't be afraid to tease him. Injecting lighthearted humor into your conversations can be a fantastic way to create connection and spark playful banter. For instance, if he mentions he loves pineapple on his pizza, you might playfully claim that you're reconsidering your entire opinion of him based on his controversial choice. Remember, the aim is to incite a smile or laugh, not to offend, so keep your teasing gentle and affectionate. Swiftly on to tip three, be positive. Keep the sun shining in your interactions, let your optimism radiate. A positive attitude crafts a warm and inviting atmosphere, a climate where conversations thrive and connections deepen. On the other side of the coin, negativity can make any interaction seem cold and off-putting, killing a guy's interest before it ever gets off the ground. Positivity isn't just a mood enhancer, it's a powerful tool for transforming any dialogue into an enjoyable experience. Tip 4 implores you to master the art of balancing, talking, and listening. Communication isn't a monologue, it's a duet. Nobody wants to feel like their thoughts and opinions aren't wanted, but that's exactly what you communicate if you monopolize the conversation. It's essential that the conversation feels reciprocal, ensuring that both participants feel heard and understood. Think of a good conversation as a graceful dance, where talking and listening take turns leading. Now, on to tip 5. Give compliments. Sprinkle your conversation with sincere compliments. Maybe he has an infectious laugh, a unique sense of style reflected in his clothing, or perhaps he has a way with words that leaves you impressed. No matter what it is, a well-timed compliment can brighten his day and demonstrate that you value him, thereby strengthening your connection. Let's talk about tip 6. Maintain eye contact. This isn't about maintaining an unwavering gaze, but rather about using your eyes to convey your engagement in the conversation. Be natural and break eye contact occasionally. After all, communication is not a staring contest, but an exchange of thoughts and feelings. Subtle, consistent eye contact can be a potent communicator of interest and respect. Tip 7 suggests that you flirt, but not too much. While a little flirtation can be a great way to show your interest, it's important to strike a balance. A playful comment here, a coy smile there, can add a layer of intrigue and excitement to the conversation. However, too much flirtation can shift the conversation from engaging to uncomfortable. Still, a dash of flirtation can spice up the dialogue and helps build a sense of shared enjoyment and interest. Moving on to tip 8. Leaning in slightly. This is a subtle body language trick that can signal that you're actively interested in his words. It can be a silent encourager for him to delve deeper into his thoughts and share more about himself. However, remember that your body language should feel natural and not forced. It's an amplifier, not the main dialogue. And then we have tip 9, a simple yet powerful one. Smile. A heartfelt smile can illuminate any setting and put the other person at ease. It serves as a universal symbol of happiness and reflects your enjoyment of his company. People almost universally respond positively to a smiling face. It's hardwired into our biology. The transformative power of a smile to set a friendly and positive tone cannot be underestimated. Tip 10 is all about body language mirroring. This can help create an atmosphere of comfort and rapport. Subtle mirroring could be anything from matching his level of enthusiasm to subtly reflecting his posture. If he's expressing excitement and speaking enthusiastically, mirror that positive energy with your own responses. The goal isn't to mimic his every move, but rather to create a harmonious rhythm in your interaction akin to a dance of subtle synchronization. Transitioning now to tip 11, play hard to get. 
the early stages of a relationship or interaction should resemble an intriguing dance of give and take. Keep him guessing, cultivate a sense of mystery, and let him work to earn your attention. This isn't about being unattainable or aloof, but rather about maintaining a sense of self and independence that naturally piques his interest. Remember, it's the chase that often heightens the attraction. This playful approach allows both participants to enjoy the thrill of the chase and lays a unique foundation for future interactions. Let's move to tip 12. Don't be afraid to joke around. Shared laughter can shatter any ice and ease tension like nothing else. Sharing a humorous anecdote or a lighthearted joke not only instills a jovial mood, but also gives him a glimpse of your playful side. Humor is more than just an icebreaker, it's a bonding agent, a shared moment that brings people closer together. Tip 13 advocates for open-mindedness. Welcome differences, cherish the diversity of thought, and respect his perspective, even if it strays from your own. Remember, a variety of viewpoints adds a rich flavor to conversations and paves the way for personal growth. Don't instantly dismiss or obliterate any opinion a guy has that challenges your own. Instead, view disagreement as a chance to spice up the conversation. So, step outside your comfort zone and embrace the wonderful world of diverse perspectives. Tip 14. We encourage the use of open-ended questions. These questions act as a gateway to deeper conversation, enabling him to share more about his thoughts and experiences. For example, instead of asking, did you enjoy the concert? You could say, what was your favorite moment at the concert? A small change in phrasing can foster a substantial change in the depth of your conversation. Tip 15 is all about getting close. Physical proximity can significantly influence the dynamics of a conversation, subtly bridging the physical gap when it feels appropriate and comfortable for both parties. This could be as simple as moving a little closer when he's sharing something personal or minimizing the space between you when laughing at a shared joke. This should occur naturally and not be forced. Always respect personal boundaries and ensure that closeness grows at a pace that feels right for both of you. Tip 16 nudges you to find common ground. This could be a shared love for a particular cuisine, a favorite book, or even a mutual interest in a sport. Taking cuisine for an example, if you discover that you both love Italian food, discuss your favorite dishes, or plan a cooking session together. Finding areas of common interest can add a spark to your conversation and act as wonderful conversation starters and bonding elements. Moving on to tip 17, give him space to talk. If he seems reserved or needs a moment to respond, allow him that space. Let him gather his thoughts and express them at his own pace. Remember, a conversation isn't a race to fill silence. It's an exchange where the quality of interaction far outweighs the quantity of words spoken. Tip 18 counsels on avoiding oversharing. While openness and honesty are vital, sharing too much too soon can be overwhelming. Keeping a little mystery not only maintains intrigue but also invites further exploration. Imagine your conversation as a captivating book. The charm lies in the story unfolding gradually, chapter by chapter. And now, we've arrived at tip 19. Leave him waiting. This tip is about creating a balance in your texting rhythm. While immediate responses can sometimes convey enthusiasm, always responding instantly can also make you appear overly available or anxious. Taking a moment to ponder his messages before replying shows that you're giving his words thoughtful consideration. It's this balance of attentiveness and self-assured independence that can leave a memorable impression. Finally, we arrive at tip 20, a timeless reminder that practice makes perfect. Conversations like any art form improve with practice. Don't fret about getting everything perfect at the start. Every conversation is an opportunity to learn, adapt, and grow. With time and experience, you'll soon be a virtuoso of vivacious and engaging conversations. We've traversed through our 20 essential tips for talking to guys. Remember, these are not rigid rules, but flexible guidelines that can help you shape your conversations. Each interaction is unique and requires a different approach, so feel free to experiment and see what works best for you.